Hello everybody and welcome back to Artorio. Let's kick things off today by... Placing those things with belts. Still have a few of them left, so that's good. This should start working fairly soon. Uh, although I don't think there's enough resources being processed there. So there is a bit of a lag. Uh, just making sure that this one is full. Yep, that one is full. And... I do want to set filters here, as always. So you're gonna be filtering that, you're gonna be filtering that, and you're gonna be filtering that. Let's make sure that I clean the belt. Should get a few more of those warp loaders. Let's call them by name. So one, two, three, four, five. I have five belts. I'm only delivering three belts here. I do need to get over there and get a few more belts of copper. Iron is doing quite well. So that's why this wasn't working at full capacity. And just want to make sure that I have everything. I have an accumulator, I have a warp loader, plenty of belt, decent amount of miners, I guess. Uh, can I shortcut my way there? Yes, I can. Through the... this floor so this is working this is these are four belts but well it's four not not five that we need I will do six just in case these are how big are these belts Oh, that's actually a 43. That's uh, that's just a 38. Plenty, nonetheless. Let's get a radar down here. I think... I think that we need to keep some vision in this area do a bit of just a bit of cleanup I don't want to overextend too much but I don't want the biters to constantly attack these bases either so these are two very nice patches there is one thing that i'm not happy with i can oh these ones are full am i already polluting Way above this area? Yes, yes I am. 
So I'm gonna start things off here by placing this down and apparently they really like this, this area. Can I get a belt like this? Oh, let's put two down. This is connected now and... That's working. I'm not expect... I shouldn't have to defend down there. That one is quite clear. It's quite big for an expansion base. We'll give these guys a hand. What's my battery doing? Oh, it's not even... It's not even remotely draining. Now I will try to focus as much as possible. Who am I kidding? I'll just do random technologies. I will pick bot speed next as the infinite research or mining productivity. Maybe I'll get mining productivity. Not that I care that much about either, but, well, I do want my base to not be idle. But I need to get some, uh, some stone in my base. That should give me a bit of extra buffer down here where I'm not that well defended. Now there's a stone patch over here. There's a stone patch over here. I don't have anything else closer by, unfortunately. So... Maybe I'll try to expand over here so i do assume that um the land is blocked here and if that's the case the power line should be fairly safe i just hope that this was an uh attack group no oh oh actually actually Well, maybe they won't pick this path. I'll take care of this base. Finally see a bit of a dent in our batteries. But yeah, I'll, I'll use this stone patch. It's small, but... Yeah, building nuclear plants is a bit of a pain. Not so much now with all the... With all the extra resources, uh, with, with access to warp loaders. So, because we're basically no longer limited by the factory throughput, factory floor throughput. I will get one and I'll actually get two here. Can I build ten of those? No, I cannot. So I realistically just want to defend. 
be like this. Getting attacks from under seems highly unlikely. I'll focus on the top corner here. And this should be... This should be plenty of stone. I'll drop in a radar. I forgot to drop in... Here, bot. I forgot to drop a radar here. one over there and our base should more or less be working as long well not with these types of technologies this will definitely this will definitely uh, drain my oil reserve reserves quite fast Oil, uh, coal reserves. That's what I meant to say. I do have 49k and 71k, so I wasn't really running out of things. But yeah, plenty of roboports, plenty of these things. Why are you not running out of all things? I do have bots. This is low on green chips because I am somehow I am still low on these. Okay. I don't really understand why this is being throttled. Unless like there's a virtual buffer of Okay, I am a bit puzzled. Maybe I will alternate between these two technologies. They both provide some form of bonus. And I'll just pick the lowest one. So let's go back to the basics. This is 3.2 second crafting time. This has a speed of 2, so 1.6 seconds, and I basically have to do 45 divided by, or times 1.6, which is 72, which is exactly what this thing is saying. Unless this belt is not fully compressed. Maybe that belt is not actually fully compressed. I think that the fully compressed belt looks slightly different. I'm not aware of any any sort of limitation throughputs for this thing but
There is a very easy... Test that I can do. These two should definitely be able to deliver a full belt. junk in my inventory now which I'm not all that happy with and the question is will these two now deliver at max will I have the whole stack working Yeah, uh, these ones will slow down just a bit until probably until this wave comes through, but so it looks like this has a bit of an issue when it comes to full throughput. And that can probably be said about the other side of things, uh, this part over here. So let's do let's do a similar thing. Let's figure out how that would work first. So if I do it like this. Yes, this looks quite compact. Two of them remove these ones. And this buffer should drain almost instantly. Now, I am wondering if... I'm wondering if this is full throughput or not. I do remember having some weird behaviors with with the warp loaders might actually spoil some of my plans. Okay, this doesn't seem to be backing off anymore. Maybe it was just because all my resources were backing up. these and usually I think that the primary candidates for these are well theoretically you start from ground up actually before I do this I will stop my Research for just a bit. I want to reposition my labs. There's no point in doing... Like, it is a bit more compact, but... At this point, I don't care that much about compactness as I care about... Um, styleability. 
more, more than anything else. So let's keep those labs there. Those labs can still be there. That's not a problem. Let's go and do this. I will do stack inserting for obvious reasons. Get that one there. And I'll do probably about this many. building labs anywhere so let's get the last few labs in um that's meant to be over there but i'll just squeeze it in like that i still have a few war ports let's let's get a few to work I think that this is a very good place for concentrated logistics. I'll spread a few more around the base just to just to help the bots move along. There's not that much traffic area at the bottom. There is a bit of traffic over here and over here. Let's do that. How's my power consumption actually? Power consumption is quite low. Okay. So now this is producing at full speed. There's actually a bit of backup here. Um, shouldn't be, but uh, there is. I'm still missing one lab. Let's get that lab through. Am I missing anything else? 34 modules. I have four. This is something. Uh, let the bots redistribute that and or Just want to make sure that everything here works I will remove the inserters on this one. Should no, it doesn't. And same for this one actually. So this is now a full column working. What? Doesn't really matter. 
I need how many? 8, uh, 16, 32 of these. 32 more modules for my... Build. This is... This is bottlenecking a bit. Oh, uh, yeah. This is a callless planet, so... I guess we're at 85%. I'm still not very confident in... Especially with the remote defenses to... Have... Hello there. To have uh, behemoths running around. I will probably be able to handle a few of them, but... Not too many. So, for that reason... It's time to pack. Don't see anything coming through here. That one's gone, there's nothing. Okay, um, that's potentially problematic. Oh, not the trees. This has already drained. It's extremely interesting that uh, belts don't actually consume electricity. Oh, I actually had a few friends coming to say hi over there. That's nice of them. I really hope that this is this was actually working. Uh, there are a few more bases that I need to uplift. Pretty sure I would have removed that base. Okay, uh, so iron is full. Can did that. I want to get that as little uh, ore in my inventory as I can. That's why I am removing the miners first and only then removing the. Only then removing the belts. Um. Oh, I can just uh, get here. I don't need to actually go back into... Back all the way to the base. The bot speed is, as you can see, quite good. A rich planet. Successful warp. I think that's our first successful warp. So, that's something to celebrate. That's two of them. And... Unfortunately, they did. Well, I. The stack is greater than two, so it will always put them in the same. Um, same factory. But yeah, this is a really great planet. And let's head out to. Well, I'll do a radar first. I've been thinking about it, and. I feel that building the mall. It is going to be about two rows of everything and you've already seen me go through the experience. There's nothing really changing. It's basically the same thing. I will do it off camera. I think that uh, 
has the potential to be extremely boring and yeah i th think that uh that type of content is better suited for off camera and uh you watch me build new parts of the base while the off camera bit is uh, going in the background so we have a bit of vision it's already huge resource patches around us i'll wait just a bit longer to not stay in the pollution cloud immediately but that being said i think that this would actually be a good time to make a cut in this episode it will be a bit shorter than usual but I think it makes more sense to break the thing that we're gonna do next in um, in a different video. So thank you all very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this rather short episode and I will see you here next time.